Mm. What's going on, everybody? Welcome mm. back to the channel. For those of you who are channel, this is Caleb's channel. This is channel. <laughs> to know look it up strong as an ox <laughs> he's that overall time um, okay how does that compare to chattanooga piece of cake chattanooga chattanooga is a piece of cake compared to that okay I'll if say, you can do that and maintain know. speed hey everyone welcome back to the channel this week in our iron man journey we are going to be talking about our tune-up race which was the k-town on the river 70.3 in knoxville tennessee so we could talk a lot about this race uh, we loved it and it was a great experience, but for the sake of time, we're just going to touch briefly on a few things that stood out to us and some things that we learned. So first off, we arrived at 5.20 a.m. The race started at 7 a.m. and we thought we had plenty of time, but it was not nearly enough time. I had forgotten how much preparation goes into race morning on the day of a triathlon you have to lay out everything out in transition there are stickers that you have to put on your helmet and your bike some races have tattoos so there's just a whole lot of prep that goes into it and we did not afford enough time to get all of that done which made for a little bit of a rocky start going into the swim yeah so the swim is a downriver swim and so we had to take a bus about a mile up the road and that put us up there about 10 minutes before the start time so 10 minutes to get wetsuit on go to the bathroom um, body glide like all the things that just take a little bit of time before you actually get in the water and we had almost no time so i got my wetsuit on real quick and I was walking down to the water, literally peeling the plastic off of some brand new goggles that I hadn't had a chance to test yet. Probably wouldn't recommend that, nothing new on race day. Um, I don't like that rule. So I'm walking down into the water, peeling the plastic off, getting my swim cap on, getting my watch ready to go. And I had about 20 seconds from the time that I got into the water until we took off. So it was a little hectic and not the kind of anxiety that you want on a race morning. Yeah, I mean, the good thing was we didn't really have a lot of time to stand around and get nervous, so that was nice. But yeah, definitely would not recommend it. I, in my rush, put Body Glide on the back of Caleb's neck, but I just was scrambling. The guy started three minutes before the girls did. So I was kind of getting our stuff and scrambling and I forgot to put Body Glide on the back of my neck. So I had some pretty bad chafing from the wetsuit on the back of my neck. I also didn't have time to go to the porta potty because the lines were pretty long and we were about to start. And so I did not realize until we actually started swimming and I realized I never went deep. So I actually peed while I was swimming. That's and I was, I was really proud of that. 
I don't know many people that can say that that, that is in their, their toolbox. Good, good to know for Chattanooga in case I need to, but I can do it. I should probably practice that. <laughs> so I went 37 minutes and some change on the swim. It was, a, again, a downriver swim, so I'm not typically that fast in flat water or a pool, but 37 minutes, pretty uneventful swim. What about you? And I was 38. 50 something I think so yeah definitely faster than I would have been if it was a week. On to the bike course. So the bike course was a 53 mile route which is if you know anything about 70.3s is just a little bit short compared to the normal 56 mile bike ride on a normal 70.3. But what they what they lack in distance they made up for with the hills because it was a very very challenging course, a lot of steep climbs. Yeah, so um, like a little short backstory, we talked about the big rush that we were in to get ready on race morning before the race. I did not put my gels and cliff blocks and nutrition in my box, so or in my transition bag or on the bike. So I went in with just three bottles of scratch and it made for an interesting ride. The whole time I was just thinking, all right, what am I gonna do? Um, but I made it through and total time on the bike was two hours, 51 minutes and 11 seconds. And mine was 2.55 and I asked afterwards um, how that compared to Chattanooga Full and Caleb said that that course will make Chattanooga seem like a piece of cake. So I felt really good about that because if I could do that, hopefully I can Chattanooga. Yeah, this course had about 4,000 feet of elevation in Chattanooga in a full a full distance Ironman plus four miles. Chattanooga has a bonus four miles on the bike. It has just over 5,000 feet of elevation gain. So um, yeah, you'll be just fine for Chattanooga if you can handle that bike course. On to the run. Yeah. This is where it got a lot more eventful because on the bike, it had really spaced out, and so there were spaces where like, we didn't really see anybody ahead of us. But on the run, it was an out and back, yep. and there were still some Olympic distance triathletes that were on the course, so we really got to see each other a lot. And there was actually a section where we looped back around on the out and back. Mm -hmm. So Katie and I got to see each other four times out on the course, which was, which was really fun and exciting, and you, know, you knew exactly where everyone was on the course. Yeah. There was still a little bit of unknown because like I mentioned, the guy started three minutes before us. So like I knew you were ahead of me, but I wasn't quite sure far how far ahead. Um, also, I will say that Caleb carried the GoPro the entire 13.1 miles, which if you've ever carried a GoPro, it gets really heavy after a couple miles. But he was so dedicated to the channel and wanting to make sure that there was content for the video he carried it with him the whole time. So if you it's haven't you. already, do us a favor, give the video a like, hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. Show him a little love for carrying that thing because that's a lot of work to carry it all the way through a half Iron Man. The best part is when you're editing and, and you carry this thing for an hour and 45 minutes and then you edit like three or four clips that are a half second long, but it's for you. We love you, that's why we do it. Okay, so run time for you. An hour, 46 minutes and 30 some seconds. Okay, and that you're happy with that time? That was... Yeah, so my goal going in was to hopefully get average just below eight minute pace and then cut down. So I wanted to start conservative and then squeeze that pace down. I started conservative and it just never really squeezed. So um, overall I finished with just over an eight minute per mile pace, which was okay. Yeah, for a hot, hilly day. Okay. And mine was uh, 138, which I think is like a 735 pace, which is faster than I was hoping for. I was thinking more like 745. I really just wanted to say 78. So I was very pleased with the way that my legs were able to run after that bike. Yeah, she was cruising. and. All the guys commented on it after the run. Everybody was impressed. It was a hot day, and so, I mean, everybody was impressed with, um, like, the 
the guys that were out there smoking it and Katie was one of them. So congratulations, that was a great run. Thank you. So before we close, we just want to say a huge thank you to all of the people who made this weekend possible. Um, thank you to our friends Garrett and Eva who let us stay with them and their daughter Ella who made me a bracelet that says try hard and she gave it to me the night before the race which was really sweet. Thank you to our family who watched the kids so that we could go do the race. You wouldn't have went as fast as you did if you didn't have braids. That's so true. Thank you to Rachel, my new friend who braided my hair the night before the race. The battle braids were awesome. And thank you to... Personal Best Racing. Muna, you do such a great job putting on races and organizing all the volunteers and staff. Thank you so much. It was an awesome race. And to anyone in the area, I would highly, highly recommend this race um, as a 70.3 that's not an Ironman branded race. So save a little bit of money there yep. and still get a really good quality race um, that's challenging, but also just really nice. Like it was beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. So thank you so much. They also have Olympics and sprints. So if the 70.3 is a little too much, come to the Olympic. It was awesome. Yeah. We would definitely come back for this. And last, thanks so much to you guys. I, we wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for you. Like, yes, we might be racing, but capturing this, uh, I don't know that we would have the consistency or the will to keep putting out this stuff. Uh, if it weren't for the all of the kind comments, the kind words, and just for you guys loving on us. Thank you so much. If you've stuck around this long, if you'll let us know in the comments where you're watching from, we'd love to know just where you guys are. So. Um, yeah, thanks so much and we'll see you on the next one.